Hey, it's Kia here from Lost Gamers, and today I'm going to be reviewing the DLO iBoom Jukebox for Apple iPods. Now, I'm going to get straight to the point and tell you the major flaw about this product, and basically that it's incompatible with Apple iPhones or Apple iPads. The iPad is simple because it doesn't fit, and uh, iPhones is because it's not meant for it. See, I'll just show it to you. I'll plug in my iPhone. And eventually you get this message saying that this accessory is not optimized for this iPhone now I tried it out with the iPhone 4 but it, it still doesn't work and I would have showed it to you that but I still haven't been able to get a hands of iPhone 4 because they're all sold out um, but um, basically now let me just show you the product I'll start off with the back now on the back now right now you have this you have your DC in to charge it uh, to power up this thing you got an auxiliary out if you want to plug in your own speakers and you have auxiliary in if you don't have an Apple product and you just want to use it and um, also has this really cool feature which I uh, which is called which is this remote now this remote is incredible because it has its own display on it and it shows you the album art on this and it doesn't require batteries as you just have to plug it in right over here and then charges and also uh, another thing is this, this thing has incredible bass and it has this little step this, this little groove inside of it to hold it if you want to move it around now let's plug it in to get the power on okay that power now see look right now it's off and the slide glows the second I turn it on hit this button and it goes off and this turns on it's pretty cool and I'm just gonna show you right now these buttons up top are capacitors, so they're actually not physical buttons. All you do is, all you do is touch it. Now, uh, I'll just show it to you. I think that, that turned it on. Now, um, this is to change songs. This is to play and pause. This is to change volume. And right over here is the dock part. You just plug in your stuff. Now, I'm going to show it to you with my old iPod Nano. I want to show it to you with my iPod Touch, but that broke. And I just threw it out because there's no point. Now let's just actually show you it turning on. Now I got my remote for it right over here. Let's go to music. Let's go actually press play. Now that's how you now that's how you change your volume. But well, one thing I noticed with the product is that the remote does have a bit of lag with it. But whatever. Now let's go actually show you a song how it looked like. Let's go to artists. Let's go to Lincoln Park. We'll beat it out. And when it finally loads up, it shows the album art on the remote, and it shows you all the information on there. And it shows you the song link. Now the reason I like now the reason that I like the fact that it has this thing is because I don't have to actually go to my iPod to see the stuff. I really have to do is just look at this. Now, if my voice was drowned out by this, I'm sorry about that, but basically what I said was that um, it shows your album art and the information on this. And um, this, this thing could change songs, go through menus, pause and unpause, and um, unfortunately you can't play games on this, but that would be cool. Now, we'll plug this back in, and it's charging right now. And um, I'd like to review this product with a uh, thumbs up, so you should get it. It's pretty good. Um, on, I looked at the site and they're selling it for about two hundred bucks from the actual DLO site. But I bought mine for a hundred bucks and it wasn't on sale. And I got mine from an actual retailer. And um, I advise you guys to get this. Um, this compared to other docks is much better because it actually has a remote that does not require your own batteries. And um, the only problem is it just doesn't work with your iPhone. But it still does charge it. Now, um, this is Kia from Lost Gamers. Charging his iPod. Ah, uh, ah, uh, nah. Uh,